Your life is in my hands. Let me down and shut up. Let's go. Hit your ass down there, boy. I'll probably slip with these mountain boots. Yeah, you got the good walking gear on. Wait up, now he's a slip. No, we're good. We're good. good. Yep. Whoa! Whoa! Just hold, hold, hold! Whoa, you all right, mate? We're getting our gear ready for a muster at Seven Emu Station in the Northern Territory. Spare juice, mate. How'd you go down there? You get the boots ordered? Yeah, it's all sorted, mate. That'll keep us going for a bit. Repaired the four flat tyres. Good job. Mate, you ready to go and chase some Brumbies? Can't wait to go and chase them. Let's go. Let's go. These are working horses. Clary and his crew use them for herding cattle. But after running free for a while, they're reluctant to get back to work. So we've got to drive them into smaller paddocks for handling. Problem is, they're onto us. We're going to need to work together to get this done. Can you hear me? Yeah. Loud and clear. Last time, I got to ride in the chopper. So it's only fair that this time, Simon gets to ride in this thing? Let's go. Just open the door here. No door there, mate. No. There isn't a door. Oh, well. All right. Good luck, mate, eh? Thanks, mate. See you. Hopefully. See you when I see you. They call it a bull catcher. That may turn out to be a decision he regrets. As for me, I'm sticking to the ATV. We've got a mob here now. We're going to push them through this gate post, through the gate here. And there's some more over the other side, so Clancy's going to keep going through and we'll just push this through for him and then he'll bring around another mob and we'll pull them back up to his, this section here. So that's the idea. But as soon as we get in, there's a change of plan. Clary spots the scrub bull in with the cattle. It's pushed out the prize breeding bull and it's causing havoc. See, scrub bulls are a feral animal. They're basically cattle gone wild and they're smarter and meaner than your average cow. If the wild bull breeds with the herd, the next generation takes on the characteristics. So Clary has to get him out of there. There he is. Clary cuts him out of the herd and goes after him. These animals are tough. They weigh over a tonne and are used to fighting other bulls in their weight class. Clary's bull catcher isn't much bigger. Right about now, Simon's thinking maybe he got the raw end of the deal. Too late to get out now. Better just hang on, mate. As the bull tires, Clary uses the bull bar to knock him off balance. He then pins him with the truck. Got him. Simon's keen to exit the vehicle. But hang on, the bull ain't given up yet. He's away again. This guy's tough. Come around the side now, ATV, but keep our distance. That bull weighs more than we do. Clary lines him up for tackle two. Bingo. Let's go check it out. With him pinned, Clary straps his back leg so he can't charge. Come for me. How was that, mate? That was awesome. I've got to give it to old mate, he can drive. Yeah? Oh. That's how you catch them bulls, mate. Sometimes the station might decide to castrate the bull and trim his horns. But it's his lucky day today. We don't want to see that, so we're going to let one angry bull go on his way. But first, we're going to unstrap right. his legs. Who gets the strap off? You. Me. No, right. we'll <laughs> this might have to be a team effort. Right, you <laughs> Ready? It's one cranky ball, mate. Well, what do you expect? Down <laughs> 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 my cruiser. That was inside. This guy got off easy. Some scrub balls are too dangerous and they have to be put down. It might look a bit, you know, sort of gruesome, but that's how they do it. They push that bull over. Now, that bull, he's tough as nails. A little scratch on him or whatever, it won't hurt him. You get up and run through the bush. 
But you've got to be so careful with those guys, those big horns, they'll punch a hole in you just like that. And we just keep an eye and just let Clarence talk us through it and stay out of the way. When he says get out of the way, we get out of the way. So it's back yeah, to the okay. horses. All the commotion of the bull yeah. chase has spooked them. Yeah. And then across a couple of swamps, because you might have to come into the... With the swamp buggy? Yeah. All right. Clary gives everyone their jobs to stick to. The ATVs will keep the horses out of the swamp and the larger vehicles will push them down. The bull catcher does the chasing for any breakaways. Let's see if we can find those ponies. Now, Simon thought Clary was going hard after the bull. He just discovered horses are a lot faster. Lucky you packed the brown undies, mate. Clary's up to another notch. This is like a video game for tree lovers. We just heard that one of the cruisers is down, so we're off to see if we can help him with the ATV. Meanwhile, Simon's having the thrill ride of a lifetime. Turns out the truck is just bogged and needs a bit of a push or pull, as the case may be. When we finally catch up with Simon, he's having a quiet moment under the tree. There's the mob behind us. We've just got them cornered up in that corner, corner section of the fence line there, and uh, we're waiting for them to settle down, and then we're going to push them through the fence. <laughs> That's some hard work pushing through there. Poor old Simon, he was going flat out and in uh, Clary's machine. <laughs> he was a bit scared. <laughs> it's been that uh, old land cruiser with Clary. I'll tell you what, I'm glad to be out of it. I've done some scary things in my time, but that was up there. You're just plowing through the bush, running into trees, logs, ants' nests, doesn't matter. Third, fourth gear, tap. That man can drive. The trees crashing over the roof. We'd just be bashing along and there's a huge tree right in front of us and I'm just committed that that's it, we're slamming into this tree. No, he'd miss it by nothing. They'd be dragging down the sides. I was peeking, absolutely peeking. Bit of fun, too scary for my liking though. <laughs> it's all action and it's all go here. Seven emus and, uh, but later on, we're gonna get the tinnies out and we're gonna go check out the Robinson River. Plenty of fish to be had there too, and an absolutely awesome coastline to be seen. And that's no bull. G'day guys, this video is brought to you today by the ultimate camp cooking bundle from Camp Boss. Now, this would have to be one of my most favourite cooking utensils because it is lightweight, it's 12 inch, it's spun steel, camp oven, comes with all the accessories. You've got a bag, you've got a trivet, you've got the hook, and you've got the gloves makes cooking in the bush easy and simple, like I always do when I go away. Anyway, if you want to check them out, go to Camp Boss 4x4 online web store, or get down to your local Camp Boss dealer. Anyway, that's enough from me. Keep checking out the video. We're working our way out along the Robinson River. Yeah, mate. Let's see if we can find a good camp down by the river, eh? Sounds good to me, mate. Just about enough action for one day. A bit of a kickback time would be nice. Yeah, fair enough. On our way out, we spot Clary's breeding bull, chased out by old mate, the scrub bull. You can see how docile he is in comparison. But still, he is a big fella. Not smoking too much. <laughs> Take a look at this view. I think we've found our campsite. How spectacular is that, mate? Yeah, it's just, it's a lot of fish down there too. Look at them, you can see them. <laughs> How the hell are we gonna get down there? <laughs> mate, I got an idea. I got an idea, eh? Yeah. Your life is in my hand. Let me down and shut up, let's go. Hit your ass down there, boy. I'll probably slip with these 
mountain boots. Yeah, you got the good walking gear on. Wait up, now he's asleep. No, we're good. We're good. good. Yep. Go! Go! Just hold, hold, hold. Whoa, you all right, mate? Yeah, no, no, I'm right, I'm right. Just take, can take a bit of winch. Well, oh, well, that's it, that's it, that's good. All right, I'm good. I've got my feet. Yeah? Yeah, go, 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 go. That looked a bit sketchy. <laughs> A bit more. I'm good. Awesome. That actually worked. Oh, this looks pretty good. It's pretty sweet. I don't think many people come down here, especially not with that sketchy abseil set up. Sketchy or not, it's Simon's turn now. You all right, mate? You're going to love this controller. Oh, did you run out of grunt? Well, it's going to struggle through rock. Hold her up. Oh, yeah. Come on down. Oh, dear. Don't lose the controller, otherwise. We're stoinking. We're stuffed. OK, where did we see that big barra? Don't know, can't remember. Fish on! Yeah, Look at that thing go! Hang on to him, we need dinner. Yeah, I don't know about this for dinner. Yeah, I'll chomp that for dinner, mate. They're good. <laughs> oh, on. He's on! It's only little. <laughs> Fish on! It's only a guppy. Oh, I guess what I've caught. What? A catfish! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the teeth on this guy. Now, this guy's a real predator. And so his teeth, ooh, he snaps all the little bait fish with on the surface. Well, I think that might be it. Sun's going down. I don't want to be climbing that cliff in the dark. And, well, I didn't catch anything to eat, nor did Simon. <laughs> it's been a good afternoon. Simon volunteers to go first. I wonder why he's so keen to get up there before me. Wait a minute, what's happening? Whose turn is it to cook tonight? What? Whose turn is it to cook tonight? No, winch me up. Whose turn is it to cook tonight? Winch me up! <laughs> Are you cooking and doing the dishes? Winch me up! <laughs> Say please, nicely. <laughs> Introducing the home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, <laughs> fishing, touring, rebuilds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show, All for Adventure. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's tight. And more original series from Jace and the team. In this mini-series, we're going to be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snappers, mate, this is all going on down here. You can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah! That's why Unleashed TV oh, yeah. is the home of Australian adventure. Not washing it. He got it. He smoked it. Oh yeah!